that this large multinational and multi-center study conducted by the cooperative groups showed that physicians can choose full fox or full fury for their first line regimen or bevacizumab or cetuximab as the accompanying biologic for their first line regimen without any worry that they're helping or hurting their patients by making those choices. The main difference then between them is the side effect profile. Of course, arenotecan can cause some diarrhea, some nausea and vomiting, and some hair loss. Oxaliplatin can cause neutropenia, some GI side effects, as well as numbness and tingling in the fingers and toes. Cetuximab so has the potential side effects of rashes uh, and bevacizumab of hypertension or of uh, bleeding or clotting disorders. So it's a matter of which the patient and the physician feel most comfortable with in terms of making these choices. The good news is we have lots of choices, and the better news is that the median survival for this was among the longest median survivals reported in a population like this.